different voice this morning. It's me, Mrs. Mobs. We're giving him a run to York to um, see how things have gone with all the bits and bats that Derek's gone and done. The man himself. Oh, hello. Good to see you all. Very well. Right then. Uh, it's not going to pop me around because we're going, we're going up to York. I'll let Mrs. Moggs do the introductions. Um, all okay so far. The brake bleeding was a dead loss. Um, then the sample looks a bit like a. Um, it really looks a mess. Uh, I did the front brakes, there were no bubbles. Um, but it, the, it, the flu is awful, it needs changing. So I've got a vacuum. Um, brake bleeding kit on order, so probably next weekend for that. And I've just had an idea. Um, we might be able to get some fluid while we're out. Some what? Wanted some new brake brake fluid. Didn't oh you? yes, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. If I can find a somebody on the side of the road selling brake fluid, I'm sure there'll be Halfords or something like that. Oh, bound to be. Around about. Right. Anyway, we're off. Um, all good so far. Apart from uh, my wobbly camera work. I apologise for that. Yeah. You might hear Mrs Satnav now and again, but ignore her, because we do know the way to York, but first of all, we're stopping at a go outdoors stop, because I need some new walking boots. So if she pops on now and again, just ignore her. We do know where we're going to yob. Oh, hello. We're back again. So are you. How are things going? Oh, pretty marvellous, thanks. Are you asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. Oh, okay. You're the one behind the steering wheel. No good asking me. Yeah, all good so far. Usual knocks and bumps and rattles. Um, we popped in at the fuel station, got some diesel, put 50 quid worth in, so that's a couple of pints. So we're off. Oh, by the way, Alan, this one's for you. We're off to York. We're off to York. Thank you, Alan, for asking how I was. I'm fine now that I've more or less had my head hung up upside down like a bat and twisted round like an owl. <laughs> That's more or less what the procedure felt like that I had done yesterday by two lovely friends of mine that's um, retired GPs so I wouldn't advise anybody trying it by themselves at home. Um, it was really weird experience. Um, I'd hate for anybody to get vertigo because that Wednesday was really horrible to be honest um, but the eight hours down at the um, Leeds General Infirmary didn't help either but the staff had just so run off the feet it was a bit ridiculous but all things are sorted now me earlobe whatever they did with it yesterday um, the crystal seems to be back in the right place and I managed to sleep properly last night for the first time since the Wednesday that it happened really. So thanks ever so much for asking. Um, yeah, I'm sorted. Once again. I'm sorry about the wobbly camera work. I'm trying my hardest to keep this camera still. I don't know how Jerry does it to be honest. This little line keeps moving. After 500 yards, sure. cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A658. Yeah, top, eh? That's Madam Sat now. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Hello. I thought you might like a bit more of the view on the way to York. And, Derek might tell you how we've been going on. Again. But 
We'll come back to that. That's not a problem. Everything else is fine. Um, lucky roads. some walls on the right there's, a, um, one of the gates up ahead that bit of brickwork that you can see there I think it's one of the original walls part of the um, York wall and down there is one of the one of the old gates you'll probably see that when we get a bit closer to it right because the station we normally park in the railway museum car park which is to the right which we will do when we've been to this shop yeah but we're going left <laughs> I'll turn you off for now after 80 yards turn left a 1036 gilligat then turn right turn left then turn right okay then Let's change the parking Well... I love cheese. From... Good. <laughs> <laughs> what I, I, what I thought is... Oh, uh, 200 yards, turn right, Lord Mayor's Walk. Oh, I'm not if looking you, like that. If you put the right address in, it's a huge place and it's got a massive car park. That's a Gilligan pub with rooms, apparently. Oh, turn right, right, A1036. Right I can't remember ever coming down here. Oh, mind you. Oh, we next to the Sally Army. <laughs> oh, great. Well, everybody, we've actually reached the Go Outdoors. Huge car park, like I said it has. Um, huge car park, but we're finding a spot to park in now. Oh, I think he's found one. Oh, yeah. So, we'll see you in a bit when I've um, hopefully got some new walking boots. Yeah, it's the only place I know where you can, you've got to go in to go outdoors. Yeah, odd that in simple. Never mind. On that bombshell. <laughs> We're off for now. Hi dudes, we're back. Right, um, <laughs> go outdoors. It's nice. It's nice, but I must admit, people, it is cheaper to stay indoors. I did get some boots though, by the way, and a pair of new socks, because now we're getting a bit hoary around the toes. So, but yeah, blooming neck if I haven't got a discount card, which also cost me a fiver. <laughs> it's well, really it's not cheap. <laughs> This is huge. I've never been in one before. It's huge and it's got a climbing wall so you can test the new ankles you've just bought. <laughs> so, yeah, it's pretty marvellous. Anyway, we're going to crack onto the railway museum now. Uh, we might film a bit of it because I'm bound to get lost. Uh, right, so we'll crack on. <laughs> oh, I'm going back down the Lord Mayor's Walk. Oh, you'll see the. After 200 see. yards, turn right, A 1036, Lord Mayor's Walk. The main thing about York is when you're walking round it is fine, but when you're driving round it it's full of blooming traffic lights and they're normally at red. 
Oh, yeah. Turn right, A1036, Lord Mayor's Walk. It's nice to walk on top of the wall, but I think it's closing this time of year because of ice. There's a wall up there. Now I've got my new walking boots, I'll be doing that again. Yeah. I haven't done it for ooh, many a year. What's that for? You off your After door? 200 yards, turn left, A1036, Gilligate, then turn left. No, walking what? round your wall. Back to Gilligate. Gilligate. And more traffic lights. Oh, yeah. They're going to get pumped down there. After 200 right. yards, turn left, A1036, A19, St. Leonard's Place. Oh, yeah. Didn't we go in there once? No, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, that was a black swan. Right. Oh, right. Very posh. At the end of the road, now, turn right, A1036, yeah, Museum yeah. Street. The cathedral. These houses here, sorry. Turn right. The, those white houses there that we can see. St. Leonard's Place. At St. Leonard's Place. It always reminds me of the scene in Oliver where are they dancing on the street? <laughs> yeah. They, I always think of that when I come down here. We're at the front of the queue for the traffic lights this time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Crossing the river. Oh, we'll see the river's flooded. After 400 yards, turn right, A1036, That's station the rise. Sightseeing bus that they have if you want to go around York and you can't be bothered to walk around it. So you can hop on a bus and yeah. have a tour around it instead. Right, I'm going to try and do this without getting a load of people in the That, if you can see it, uh, besides the fencing, oh my God. is After the 200 yards, bear right, then go straight on. That's good. I don't know whether I gave you a good view on that or not. And, oh, blooming traffic lights. Oh, well, we'll go walk back. There, right, A1036, station right, I bet then go straight on with Leeman them. Road. Nobody in front of us. Yeah. Go straight on. We can't miss it, the lights are red. You don't care. Oops. <laughs> Just drive like you need to. <laughs> nah, you can't do that with a Land Rover. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Far too civilised. Everybody duck, low bridge. Underneath the railway bridge. Mind your heads. After 300 yards, turn right, then take the second right. Okay, back right. Oh, this is bumpy bit. Turn around when possible, then turn left. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure this woman knows where she's going? <laughs> um, the sure. Yeah, there's a different entrance to get now. After 300 yards, turn around when possible. <laughs> oh, that's never good. Wednesday night, the agenda Friday 21st. Of well, there's loads of people in there. No, it's all right. It's next uh, next weekend. Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't know why she's telling us to turn round because then. Um, ah. Because we're going to a different car park. Why? Which car park did you put in? 
I think that's for the museum. Oh. The original entrance to the museum is further up on the right. Oh, that's my big bump. That's a mud flap. Yep, it is. And this is our favourite car park that we like to come to. Yeah. When we come to York, whether we come to the museum or even if we're just walking around York itself, because it's handy. Because there's lots and lots of spaces in it. Uh, we never, we've never come and not been able to get into this car park. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and um, let Derek park. Speak to you soon. Well, we've not there. Uh... Can't see anything dripping out there. Other side. Yep, looks okay. Oh, there you are. We made it. The car park is um, behind us. It was £4 last time we came, but now it's 6 But on a weekend, that's all day. So that's pretty good. Um, if you come any other time, I think it's about um, £10 a minute. Anyway, here we are at the National Railway Museum. Popping in for a cup of tea and a sticky bun. And a look around. Okay, we're in. Um, apparently, you're supposed to book. Well, it's a recommendation that you book. Uh, we just wandered in as usual. Ooh, floating tickets. <laughs> um, so, yes, we're okay, but if it's particularly busy, we might be turned away. It's still free to get in. Oh, it's free to get in. If you can get in. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> well, don't forget, jam on first, cream on top. I have. Yes. Um, gin, sticky buns, cup of tea, jam on first, cream on top. That, that's protocol, okay? Right, we'll get, we'll get these down the next, then we'll crack on. Um, there, that's the scones seen to. Um, it's not the cheapest cafe, but I, li I like it because it's, it's on the platform between the trains, which I think is a bit cool. But it's next to this carriage here. King Edward's carriage ruled from 1841 to 1910. That's right, so that's 20 to 7 to 10 past. So it wasn't long, but it did specify his own carriage. He wanted a smoking room. Not one on fire, one where you could smoke. I mean, you know, remember the days when you could smoke inside? Yeah, well, he did. Does that work? Yeah. This is the smoking room, isn't it? Probably. Yeah, this is the. We can have a radio gram in here. Now, these days, you can specify a range of whatever uh, add ons you want. In the good old days, you can specify a carriage. If you were a king, Six, seven, three, and nine. 
Oh, this is neat. Um, if you're the king. I mean, he's got, well, he's got ace king, king, queen jack. Ace oh. king, queen jack, that uh, looks a bit in the bag. Yeah. No, this is a smoking room, so, it's green leather. So the other one was yeah, the ordinary room. This, this is the smoking room. This will be the smoking room. Yeah. Smoking and drinking room, that looks at glasses. What else? You have lions on the handles. Hey! I didn't know they had plastic boxes in them days. Yes, they did. It was, it was Tupperware, they used to call it. <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. Um, so that's that bit. This is somebody else's carriage. Queen Mary's Saloon. Queen Mary, not the Queen of Sheba, Queen Mary. Yeah, yeah. 1867 to 1953. So we can't do any time jokes in that one. <laughs> oh, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> well, electric cabinet. Oh, what? <laughs> it's a bird in them. Get, get one kettle. Like What's on there? Some sort of... Um, if what? anybody knows, leave it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, electric kettle. Wow, cool. Um, we have to be a queen to get one of them. Hmm? We'll go back up this one. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Ah, no. Queen Elizabeth's carriage. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, in the 40s and the 70s. Ooh, now we're flirting. I don't think most of our chambers. Uh, no, that's for the plebs. <laughs> At least she gets an iron. <laughs> yeah, she gets an iron. And some more telephones. No, that's, that's the pleb pleb. Who's that? Oh. At least this one gets a bed and he gets a chair. Bed and a chair? Yeah, don't get electric light, though. Probably not turned on. Well, a bit more spam there, I would have said. Yeah. That's probably a lady. Condensation, is it? Yeah, anyway. Well, just in case you need to hoist your luggage on. Ah, oh, radiogram. Electric fire. Central heating. Telephone. What the? That was probably the original mobile phone. Actually, the carriage is out to the pool by engine. Engine moving in Scotland, 1926. Yeah, 25 past 7. The voyage. I do need it. If you like a fast and furious car, it's got lights on your roof. Next up, Great Hall. Looks good, we're going to try that one day. Um, you got a bucket though. Book it through the museum website. Oh, well, I we said we'd have a meal there one day. Okay. Usually we just have to stand and lick the windows because we can't afford to go in. I'm sorry, this is what I've got to pull with. Me too.
Oh, this is old copper knob. Those holes. That's all shattering. It was bombed during the Second World War. Try the old X ray lens. Oh, Basically, steam engines are great big kettles on wheels, and they're only 6% efficient, but full of charisma and charm. Back in the old days, that was uh, second class now, we got carries. Third class had to run along the track behind. First class, and then we go to the front and got to drive the engine. Good. Right then, that's a quick look around the National Museum at York, Rail National Railway Museum at York. Um, it's free entry. They say it's best if you book or busy times, weekends, holidays, that kind of thing. We just rocked up, we were all right. Um, yeah, it's great, I love it. There's tons of stuff to see. What, you, what you've just seen now is just a smidgen. There's loads of other stuff. Right, just going to go for a quick, quick walk around York. And the short walk later gets you under the bridge there, goes to the York Walls, and we're just about to cross over the bridge. <laughs> and you know, there's a little cafe down there. Oh. It's like the other one at Far End where we used to park. It used to be. No, it didn't, did it? It was on the other side of the road. Um, over Christmas, York was flooded as usual. It does it every year, it's not, uh, not a big deal. Apparently, it's pretty cool, it? Hey, it's not just for Christmas. No. <laughs> Water is for life, not just for Christmas. This is back to normal. This is good. And across the bridge and a bit further up, and now we're getting we're quite close to the uh, to York Cathedral. It's like a church but bigger. But the bells are going like the clappers. Well, they were. Until I said that, then they stopped. <laughs>
European tour of Europe, there's, there's loads and loads of people who've already done that. So I don't really mention it. This is the shambles at York. If you think this is a shambles, you should see the inside of my shed. Last time I came to York, this area was just derelict. The market was over there as usual, but this was just a waste. This is the best thing that could happen with this uh, little place. It's lovely. Bit of food, bit of uh, free shopping, and uh, nice place to sit. Superb. In fact, we just ordered two hot chocolates. That was one of the best orange hot chocolates I've ever had. It was bummy marvellous. Um, the only problem thing is, I uh, usually have hot chocolate at the end of the night and fall asleep. Anyway, never mind. Uh, right, we're going to crack on. Uh, we'll see you in a bit. Right, it's brilliant. Market's on. Get loads of food. Street food. Uh, I don't know if that means dead hedgehogs or, them, or he hedgehogs or not. Anyway, um, uh, we're going to head back, so back to the car. I hope not. And then we'll check it when we get back. But so far, I think it's good. Um, it's a little bit of York, I hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't, uh, it's 20 minutes of your life you won't get back. Sorry. Uh, so, it's, 
Um, all right, well, I'll wrap it up when we get home. We'll see you in a bit. Yeah. Ooh, spooky face. That's without the light. Uh, yes, we're back. Um, everything's fine. Um, it was good. Uh, indeterminate handling, vague steering. Um, usual, really. <laughs> Outrageous fuel consumption. It's good to be back. Let's just have a quick look underneath. That looks okay to me. Hubs are cool. Ah, hubs are cool. Hubs are cool. <laughs> the hubs are cool. Um, brakes are fine. Nothing's binding about the look of it. There's no oil coming out. So we're good so far. Brilliant. That's chuffing marvellous. Right, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, just a little trip out to York, more or less to test the Land Rover. Um, superb. Um, we hope in the future to do some uh, a lot more Hubnut um, socials. Uh, all being one in the future. So uh, now we've got old jugs here, back uh, almost back to normal. We're still we're still on the drip from the gearbox and the the um, transfer box. I'll have to come back to that in a bit. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, take care of yourselves. Don't get lost or squashed. And I'll see you in a bit.